Hi there, happy hump day and welcome to Wednesday. So, learning. Something that I absolutely love to do is learning. Interesting though, often you'll hear organizations talk about, we've got a learning culture. We're an organization that when things go wrong, we focus on what we can learn from those mistakes. There's even mantras around learning from failure, fail fast. The question is, is that real? Is that learning really embedded within the DNA of the organization so that when things do go wrong, the organization is responding productively in a way that's really healthy and in a way that's progressive because they're fixing what's happened? Or is the learning just a mantra, a mantra that's really just rhetoric? Because what it's used to do is to gloss over issues and to say, hey, it's all under control because we've learned from our mistakes. But have they really? I always remember this is probably about 12 months ago or maybe even a little bit longer, where one of the US senators who was on a banking committee was grilling a Facebook executive over a number of issues that had arisen. And he had a quote, and whether you agree with the quote or not, it's illustrative. But what he said is, you know, they're like a toddler who's got their hands on a bunch of matches and they've burned the house down. And over and over, what they say is that it's a learning experience. Now, whether you agree with that assessment or not, it's a really good example of the challenge. If something's gone wrong in your organization, what are you doing? Are you actually learning from the mistake? Are you fixing it or are you glossing over it? Are you using the learning mantra as some sort of form of cover so that you don't have to make the progress that you need to make? It can be really hard in organizations for people to stick their hand up and say, hey, this is what's gone wrong and this is how it's gone wrong. But if you don't do that, if you don't have the right culture to support that, then issues go underground and that's not healthy. So to check whether you think your organization has got a real learning culture, a culture where not only they embrace learning from a capability and a growth perspective, but that your organization really takes a hold of issues when they arise and goes, great, now that we've identified the issue, we can take the time to unpick it, work out what's happened, and really learn from this, both at a systemic issue, a process level, and at a behavioral level. So here are some things to think about. When something goes wrong, do you actually see your organization change or does it just keep doing the same thing over and over again? Is there time that's set aside to really reflect on what's happened and why it's happened? Are you seeing or sensing in your organization that the same issues get raised again and again and again? Because if you are, it's a warning that nothing's changing. If you're in a leadership role, have you stopped listening to other people? Do you think you're the smartest person in the room? So you're not taking ideas and hearing those different perspectives. With all of this, some of it's a habit. And so you might need to break some of those established patterns and routines of behavior. Because at the core of this, it takes three key things to really address and develop that ability to learn when things go wrong. First, you need to assess the situation, work out what happened, why it's happened, work through the learnings that you want to take away so that you can build the steps to make sure it doesn't happen again. That means you need time to reflect. Secondly, you need to accept that things need to change. And often with that assessment comes that deep seated reflection that the person who needs to change first, particularly if you're in your, a senior leadership role, might be you. And lastly, What's the adaptation that needs to happen in the organization? So yes, you're looking at systems and processes, but what's the behavioral adaptation that needs to happen so that you are putting in place the steps so this won't happen again? And also putting in place steps that you'll pick up issues and pick them up quickly. It was the former Prime Minister of the United Kingdom who said many, many years ago, this was Sir Winston Churchill, you know, the longer you look back, the further you can look forward. So when you're reflecting on learning, 
You want to take time. It needs to be deep. It needs to be thorough. Because the more you do that, the better able you are to look into the future and work out how you need to be ready for it and how you need to respond. Take care. Lots of food for thought this week. I'll see you next week.